Hello everyone, my name is Julia. Something terrible has happened in our family. We have lost most of our money, more exactly millions that we accumulated over the years. The situation was even worse after we found out the truth. The fact is that the police were never able to find the culprit, but I decided to investigate for myself. And I found her. Now I will tell you everything in more detail. Watch the video till the end. Do not forget to like it, write comments under it, and subscribe to the channel. You can simply click the red button, and that's it. Let's get started. My family is very rich. We have a tailoring business, and for many years, we have been exporting to international markets. My mother is a designer. She develops collections herself, and my father is responsible for the technical planning. In addition to a luxury house, we had several other properties and an expensive car collection. I had three of my own rooms, each with a different design, and I lived in each of them, depending on my mood. My mother had three dressing rooms, just like me. We bought everything that we wanted. I went to a private school, and my nanny, Ingrid, looked after me. She raised me from birth, became like a grandmother to me, and we loved her as a family member. Ingrid helped me with my homework, put me to bed, and sometimes made me sweets. Homemade donuts were my favorite. If my nanny felt like baking, it meant that there were donuts at home. Ingrid didn't have a family, but that was a plus for us. Nanny, will you make my favorite donuts today? Yes, dear, of course. How's school going? Good, thank you. Everything is fine. I was given a lot of homework. Come on, we'll do your homework and then I'll make some donuts. All right, Nanny. Why don't you have children? Hmm, well, situations, honey, situations. But I have you, and I love you more than anything in the world. You know that. If we didn't pay you, would you still stay with me? Don't waste your time with silly questions, honey. Instead, spend it on your lessons. Go upstairs. I'll come a bit later. Ingrid and I like to talk about everything in the world, but not about her family. Such questions made her feel bad. Apparently, I made her feel nervous. But I didn't mean to. I was just curious. And then one day, I noticed that my nanny was very sad. She said she didn't feel well, and I thought that she was ill. So a week passed, and I was worrying about her. All her answers to my questions was that she had a headache. A couple of days later, my parents said to me that we were going on a vacation to the Maldives. We usually took Ingrid with us, but this time my mother gave her the day off to treat herself. So we went just as a family. We returned home happy, tanned, and very rested. Dad and Mom had turned off all their phones on vacation to relax as much as possible. But as soon as we entered our house, our jaws dropped. Everything in the house was overturned, smashed, broken. Half of the servants were terrified, and the other half were absent altogether. We didn't understand what was going on and how the security cameras had been disrupted. Suddenly, we heard screams from the back room. It was Ingrid. Dad kicked down the door where the nurse was lying bandaged. She was scared out of her wits. Oh my god, Ingrid, what's wrong with you? What happened here? The nanny was barely able to catch her breath, then finally said that there had been a robbery. What? Have we been robbed? How? There were several of them. Everything happened so quickly and I had no time to react. I called the guards, but the phone didn't work. I wanted to call you, but I couldn't reach you. I didn't know what to do. I was confused, and the servants just ran away. All right, all right, calm down. Let me call an ambulance. Yes, yes, thank you. I tried to calm the nanny down. She was crying so hard, and I felt very sorry for her. A couple of minutes later, the police arrived, and my dad said that $20 million had been stolen from us. The cards and passwords for the accounts were stolen, and a notification about the withdrawal of money came from the bank. And it all happened very quickly. It was a well-planned robbery. We were very upset. We didn't know what to do or where to go. It was a huge amount, just unreal. Mom and Dad almost turned gray. The police accepted our statements, and they started the interrogation, which lasted for several days. The investigation did not bear results. We did not know what to do. My father hired private detectives, but they didn't please us with results either. I went back to school, and news about the robbery spread amongst the rich people. They began to strengthen their own security and check their accounts for safety. My father had a secret office that only we knew about, 
Even my mother didn't know about it. He kept cash there and he saved it for me, for my future. I couldn't sleep that night, so I went to the secret office to look for clues. And as soon as I entered, a familiar smell hit my nose. It was so familiar. The office had no windows. Apparently, my father hadn't shown it to the police. I sniffed, trying to remember where the smell came from. In the corridor, I met my nanny. She was still awake, but she was sleepy. Nanny, what are you doing here? Oh, crap. Baby, you scared me. I went to the toilet. Why aren't you sleeping? You have a toilet in your room. What? Oh, yeah, I just... It didn't work. I see. How's your head? Uh, what do you mean? You had a headache, don't you remember? Oh, yes, right. Thanks, baby. It's okay. Go to bed. Let's go to sleep. The nanny went on, and I went into the room, lay down on the bed, and my stomach rumbled violently. I wish I had some donuts right now, I said to myself, and this thought was keeping me awake. Donuts! I couldn't take it anymore, and I immediately ran downstairs. Nanny was talking on the phone with someone. I managed to overhear some of her conversation. Yes, son, is everything all right? Where are you now? Well, buy yourself whatever you want. Don't worry about me, they don't know. Even their stupid private detectives don't suspect me, you know? So it's you! Of course! Who else knows our homes as well as you do? Just you, because you've been here for 15 years! What? Baby, why aren't you sleeping? Don't change the subject. Where is our money? I don't know what you're talking about, baby. Go to bed. Son, you said you didn't have any children. It's not my son. I just misspoke. I never lie, and you know it. Show me proof that you've been to the doctor about your headaches. What proof? A doctor's prescription. But I don't have it. No. I will call the police. Then my nanny grabbed me by the arm and with lightning speed closed my mouth and opened the window. She tried to push me out from the third floor. I managed to get my hands on the frame and my feet on the curtains. I bit her hand and she let go of me. But I started to fall down and managed to catch on to the curtain. I was hanging so high off the ground and she was looking at me and smiling. Everyone will think that you just fell out and I was sleeping at the time. You can't prove anything. We used to live beautifully, and what could we do with your illegitimate son, whom you hid all your life? What if he doesn't have any money? I only took my share, that's all. With that money, we'll buy whatever we want, and you'll earn more easily, right, baby? Help me! I'll complain to my father! You won't make it, baby. You won't make it. Goodbye. Trader Nanny tore the curtain, and I was just about to fall, when suddenly, someone came up behind her hit her on the head and saved me from falling. It was my mother. Bastard, I never liked you. Mom! My mother took me in her arms and I could barely calm down. A minute later, the police arrived and arrested her. She denied everything, but I had a tape recorder in my pocket, so her guilt was proved immediately. Her son was eventually found. You can't imagine, but it actually turned out to be an old friend of my dad's. Dad had helped him many times. All he did was repair cars. He even came to our house a couple of times and smelt like donuts, too. Who would have thought that my nanny's baking would expose her dirty deeds? I can't hide the fact that we were all shocked, because this woman lived with us for many years. She raised me and we trusted her. And it turns out that she only put up with work to raise her son and feed him at our expense. My mother said that she had lost jewelry several times, but she thought it was stolen by servants and fired the wrong ones, while the threat was right in front of us. But it's good that everything ended well. Her son has already spent tens of thousands, but we got back the rest of the amount, hit it, and Nanny paid back the rest. It turned out that they have real estate, cars. Unbelievably, she had accumulated millions over the years of working for us, Everything in their house, dishes, furniture, and even their clothes, belonged to us. All this was confiscated. So, dear friends, stay vigilant and be careful. If you have money, there will be a lot of enemies nearby. Tell me, did you guys like my story? Write your opinion about it in the comments below. Do not forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel.